beautiful Forest Lodge up here at Ballarat. Uh, you can tell the Ballarat boys, but he's got warm clothes on him, like <laughs> tough bloke from Queensland. Uh, we're in the BMW Caulfield Cup on the weekend. Hasn't been a great race for you. Has it? Ah, how many runners, Bruce? Yeah. One. You've had one runner in, in 15 years. <laughs> Don't you like the Caulfield Cup? Oh, well, I do like it. We just haven't made the horses good enough to get in it, I suppose. But um, I reckon we've got the, got the right ones this year. Happy, happy with them and happy with the order of both of them and um, been happy with their preparations. Uh, well, these two are humidor and Emily Stone. Now, have you got a, have you ever, do you know what a humidor is? No, I do not. No. Have you ever smoked a cigar? No. Oh, I dare say I would have at some stage. <laughs> <laughs> well, when you've got those big Cubans, you might be sat there nice. You know, that's what they, they get them out of a humidor. Oh, so right. there, you go. there you go. Um, he's an interesting background, this horse, isn't he? Um, Found him in New Zealand. Well, Simon, your, your, one of your racing managers, found him in New Zealand. Yep, yep. We certainly wouldn't have him if, if, if Simon didn't chase it up. Um, we were obviously a little bit keen on the horse when we heard he was on the market, but then the people that we had um, thought might have been able to purchase the horse. Um, they ummed and hard for a while and then decided not to go down that path, so then we thought it was all over. But um, Simon went back, went to the owners and put a sort of proposal to him could we buy half of him? And um, they accepted it. So, uh, Hats off to Simon. Yeah, well, does he get a bonus if he wins on the weekend, does he? <laughs> I, reckon he'll get, I reckon everyone will get a bonus if, it, if, it were, if he happens to win. Yeah, well, we'll talk about those big parties a bit later, but uh, you're not a man who wants to you know, change gear on horses too much, and you've gone to all the trouble of putting a bubble cheeker. Yeah, on. yeah. <laughs> put a cheeker and a tongue tie on we went to. Well, I was uh, um, and hard whether the, to put blinkers on or not, and no, I, I, didn't, I didn't know. I, I thought until his last run, and, and I was even happy enough with his last run, but until then I thought the horse was flying and mm. he couldn't go much better really. So, mm. in the last run, you know, you take Winks out of the race, he's probably run pretty well. It was a pass mark for a Caulfield Cup, and I think the step up in trips a plus. The barriers, he's finally drawn a decent enough barrier, so he can be in the first half instead of the back half, which is a big plus as well. So, well, he's got a few things in his favour, Sadie. If you're going to back him on Saturday, you should take him in the double for the Melbourne Cup, shouldn't you? Oh. Well, if he's, if, if he's 25 to 1 the Melbourne Cup today, he's going to be 8 to 1 <laughs> if he wins on Saturday, isn't he? Yeah. I don't think it's that easy, Bruce, somehow, <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> I'd, I'd, uh, I'd like to think that he could run well in both races. Um, I, you know, I'm, I've been very keen to get him out over a trip, so, mm. um, you know. As long as he runs well Saturday, and then we'll work out after Saturday, after Saturday, I guess. Emily Star started life with uh, with Moods. Moods, yep. Yeah, he's really, he's taken, the horse has taken a big leap. It's going well. You know, obviously, we got it, um, she had great form before we yeah. got her, and then she come off an injury, you know, she had a tendon injury, so um, done a heap of rehab and that sort of stuff down at, at Lee Everson's place, and then she came to us, and um, she's been a beauty, really. She's She's been racing really well, and barriers they're an amazing thing and she's drawn a bit tricky on on Saturday obviously the, you know adding 13 but um, like two starts ago she drew the outside at Caulfield we were trying to get into the into the race that way mm. obviously yeah, yeah. into the race that way automatic entry and she ran terrific but we went, went back too far on her and was just an impossible sort of task for her and then at Flemington she drew the good gate got the good run and uh, we got the result and then we are uh, lucky enough to be able to sneak into the race. Yeah, well, obviously that's the highlights of the week, it was a tragedy of, of my deuce and uh, I, hope, I hope things are progressing well for, for him. Yeah, it was a bloody tragedy, um, it was just one of those simple things that happened in racing worse luck, you know, he done his hard piece of work at Caulfield on the Saturday. We call them maintenance gallops, more or less, that's what they are. He was just having a bit of a stride around. Johnny Allen was riding him and um, he was just following another one. They just went a mile even, home half mile. And um, the last 100 metres, it just bloody let go and one of those unfortunate things. And um, yeah, he's in a, you know, he's obviously stable, but he's, he's he'd be in a, he's in a bit of a tricky, tricky spot, really. Um, the next, you know, day or two is gonna tell uh, what they do, I guess. Rest of the day, you got a stack of runners there, but I'm interested in Teodora. Yeah, it's nice filly. Um, not a lot left of her. That's no. that would be the only little question mark. How far she goes after Saturday, but got a great action, and um, you know she won well at Ararat, and everyone said it was a terrible race, which on paper it probably looked that way, but it was it was the way she did it. She came from last and sort of really stretched out good late and. Pretty big step for a horse 
in a horse's career to win a maiden in the mm. next start, and obviously against the older horses, although it was only a benchmark 64, it's just it's just a hard thing for horses to do, mm. and she done it really well. So um, third start, 2,000 metres, but yeah, I, I, you know, I'm, I'm hoping she'll run well. I think she, at some stage down the track she'll win a good race for sure. Well, the rest of the day, stack of runners. Don't want to go through more, but oh, that'd be that'd be. I think you're sort of I'm looking forward to see Cliff's Edge. He's, yeah. he's racing well. He'll make his own luck up on the speed. So um, yeah, he, he's he, he's in good shape and it's a good, really good prize money race that. And Snitzer Peg won a listed race last night. He's in a similar sort of race, so he's going to be around the mark. But um, yeah, looking forward to the Caulfield Cup to be honest. So when you win your first <laughs> Caulfield Cup, uh, the normal procedure is it's stop off at the Emerald in South Melbourne, right? <laughs> Yeah, that'd be about right. Yep. Right, and then you get Kevin the driver. <laughs> <laughs> Someone will drive, don't worry about that, we'll worry about that if it happens. <laughs> and then uh, back over here, the party's going, right? The, the staff that haven't got there, they've, they've warmed things up for you. Yeah, there'll be something like that, Bruce, you're around the mark, I reckon. <laughs> pineapple, you know, pineapple cruises, are they sort of... <laughs> Well, that'd, be, that'd be pretty late in the night, I would have thought. <laughs> oh, right. But, and someone's going to work Sunday morning, mate. <laughs> well, it wouldn't be me if I won a Caulfield Cup, I know that. <laughs> <laughs> now, what's happening going forward? Cox Plate, how many runners in the Cox Plate for you? Uh, uh, Carlo Carlo Chop. Chop at this stage, definitely. Yeah. And um, yeah, he's probably the main one, really. So uh, he ran well last start. He's been a, been a great horse for the stable. He's run well every start. He's just continued to progress. and. Um, Terrific prize money to run in the places in that. <laughs> Toast and Starham goes, doesn't go there, goes to the mile race at Fleming Derby. Yeah, yep, that's where he'll go and um, he's come through the run great and it's finally great to see him do what he showed us at home I guess and be able to get him there in good shape and more importantly he's pulled up really well so um, I would say he's, it won't be the last race he wins. Good. Any other snoozers for cup week there? Oh, not really, Bruce, you know. Hopefully uh, we're sort of we're relying on the Emily Stars and the Humidors and that sort of thing to keep the, the flag afloat. So hopefully they can do it Saturday and then progress into the carnival. Looking at a big cigar going on Saturday night. Oh. If he Come lobbed, on out of the Humidor. If he loved, find a girl called Emily. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be happy to uh, happy to do both. <laughs> Glad you're weary.